After being cast out of the NFL, Brett Morgan signed a one-year deal with a semi-pro football team playing out of Las Vegas. He knows this is his one and only opportunity to get back into the NFL. This season has to go perfect. He has to have big plays and have a sizzle reel like no other. A highlight reel that would rival football gods. That's what he has to create in his one semi-pro season. If he can do that, maybe an NFL team will take a chance on Brett Morgan. Now playing for one of the better teams in the semi-pro football league the Las Vegas Top Guns Brett had some decent talent surrounding him and was able to get some real big momentum on the ground in his semi-pro season now at the same time Brett was focusing on his health trying to get a little bit slimmer obviously he knows he needs to lose some LBs if he wants to get back in the NFL and stay competitive he doesn't want to be the next Eddie Lacy all semi-pro season he worked on his strength trying to power through guys and he did that again and again leading the Las Vegas Top Guns to victory after victory. But the season wasn't without its hardships. Brett suffered some small ankle injuries because of the weight and all the demand that his body had on it. Now obviously as he was working out and trying to get thinner he was struggling with his diet. It's something he never really had to do growing up. He always kind of just ate what he wanted to and he was always able to run through competition whether it was at the high school or college level. But obviously in the NFL he had a decent first game but the size, that's all that matters. NFL scouts, NFL recruits, all of those guys are looking at how big he is and if he's going to be able to last, if he's going to be durable enough to make it through the season. So he knew as he worked on his football game and building that highlight reel, he also had to work on his body. As the season progressed, more and more NFL scouts started to show up to some Top Gun games. Whether it be away or home, it seemed like a scout always tried to make their way there. Now, Brett had no idea if they were there for him or some of his fellow teammates, but he made sure to make it a point to make it a highlight type of performance anytime he saw an NFL scout in the stands breaking run after run for a touchdown after touchdown, leading the league in rushing touchdowns and broken tackles, proving to the NFL in the next level that Brett Morgan still has something in the tank. And if you take a chance on him, hey, it might just pan out. Now, even though Brett had a really good season, the Top Guns only finished at 8-8, eight and eight, barring them from the playoffs and maybe barring Brett from the NFL. He might not have enough highlight tape, but he did have a pretty good season. 2,381 yards on the ground, averaging nearly seven yards per carry with 18 touchdowns and 240 broken tackles. Now, Brett just hopes that this is enough to catch the attention of NFL scouts as the NFL season and the semi-pro season have now officially come to a close. With the offseason officially upon us, Brett starts working out to lose the pounds. He starts jogging around his local neighborhood in Los Angeles out in the hot California sun hoping to melt some of that fat away. And he's even been hitting the gym, not just to gain muscle mass, but to lose weight. He set his target goal to lose nearly 75 pounds, bringing him around the 250 pound mark. And if you can add some muscle to that, that's even better. He wants to be a powerful threat. He wants to be something that defensive lines fear, but he knows he can't be this big. It looks more like he belongs on the defensive line than playing halfback, and he doesn't want that, and he knows the NFL doesn't either. It wasn't easy. It was quite the struggle, but Brett Morgan worked day in, day out, and worked on his diet, and finally was able to lose the weight, and all of the paparazzi are taking notice. With all of this media attention, Brett Morgan isn't far from the NFL. Hey Brett, just your agent Barry here. I have some great news, kid. Very great news. An NFL team wants you to come out and do some workouts for them. They're willing to give you a preseason roster spot. Good luck, kid. Go get them. The Kansas City Chiefs have decided to give Brett Morgan an opportunity to get onto their preseason roster. They like what they saw in the workouts. They like what they saw him in the gym, his IQ. They like what they saw in the highlight reels from the semi-pro league. They're ready to give him a chance in these preseason games. If you look at the roster here, Kareem Hunt's going to be the starting halfback, but in preseason, Brett Morgan is going to be getting most of the snaps. And if things go well, maybe Brett could become some type of trade fodder for the Kansas City Chiefs, or who knows, maybe Kareem Hunt will become the trade fodder. We'll just have to see who outperforms who, because obviously, 
they're probably not going to keep both, especially if they're both performing very well. We'll just have to see what's in the cards of Brett Morgan's future. But if we look at Brett Morgan, this man is 255 pounds. He's slimmed down nearly 70 pounds since he's last been in the NFL. Still standing at 6'2", 21 years old. We expect to see an increased amount of stamina and a pretty good performance in the preseason. Here in the second quarter of this first preseason game against Houston, Morgan's finally on the field with 6.57 to go. They're down seven to nothing against the Texans. Oh, and Brett trips out of the backfield. He's gonna lose yards on that carry. Morgan only got that one carry and they took him back off the field after stumbling in the pocket pretty much, but they did tie it up seven to seven and Morgan is back on the field now. Let's see what he can do. He finds the outside edge. He's a bit faster and more agile since when he played for the Patriots last year. And he's hoping to get a big two year deal. I guess his agent slated up a $2.25 million deal for two years, but he's gotta earn it. We have to see if he makes the roster. First and goal, Morgan's gonna take it to the outside, pushing forward still on his feet. Tough three yards, but he finds him. Gonna try taking it to the outside here. He's got the speed and finds the end zone. He's celebrating in an NFL end zone for the first time in over a season after leaving the semi-pro football league. It's gotta feel good for Brett Morgan. 27 yards away from the end zone here. Morgan's gonna take it, trying to push forward, only finds one. He's got seven touches for 19 yards. 20 to 17, halfway through the third quarter. Morgan's back on the field, and he cannot find anything. Going in the hurry up. Are they looking to go to the air here? And they are. Morgan's open, and he can't come down with it. He's usually pretty reliable receiving wise. Ball at the nine yard line. Chiefs still in the lead here in this game. Man in motion. Let's see what the Chiefs do here. It looks like it's a delayed handoff to Morgan. He breaks two. Morgan breaks two, he finds an open hole. Brett Morgan down the sideline to the 40, to the 30, the 20, the 10, and that's a touchdown. He coasts his way into the end zone and gives it a little boogie oogie once he scores. Wow, that was a powerful run, and what a showcase of talent, breaking two tackles pretty much at the line of scrimmage to get in the end zone. Right here is what we're talking about. A pile up of Texans, and he just gets through. Everyone is fighting for their right to be on this squad. Obviously, there's a little bit too much running backs on the depth chart for Kansas City. So we'll have to see what happens after this preseason. Morgan is downing a new number here, number 37. When asked about the number, he says he just wanted to change things up, have a new identity. He stuck with number 20 his whole career through high school, college, and his first pro attempt and he just wants a fresh start. He gets swallowed up in the backfield here though. He's got 107 yards and three TDs on the day though. Going to the air here, Morgan up the center. He's gonna try to get it, but it gets swatted down. Kansas City has the ball three minutes to go in this game, 27 to 24. Now this is just the preseason, but for guys like Mr. Morgan, this is everything. You gotta earn that roster spot. But that's the end of this preseason game contest. We saw Mr. Morgan take the ball 11 times, have three scores and over 100 yards. It was such a great contest by him. He is player of this preseason matchup. And maybe that's gonna be enough to keep him on this roster. We'll have to see how his next three games go. It's definitely enough to keep him on the roster until next week. Kareem Hunt had four carries for 17 yards, averaging 4.2 yards a carry. <laughs> Damian Williams at seven for 39, averaging five and a half yards. And Brett Morgan had 12 for 112 yards, averaging 9.3 with three TDs. This man's unstoppable. In this second preseason game, Kansas City's taking out Atlanta and they're getting their butts whooped by 17. There's only two minutes left in the third quarter and this is Brett Morgan's first touch of the day. Let's see what he can do here. He's cutting to the outside, trying to find some yards. Forcing his way to the 30 yard line. That's a five yard carry. Brett's gonna get his second carry of the day. Trying to find a hole, can't find any daylight. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Fourth down and two. They have the big boy in the backfield. Let's see what kind of power he's got. He's gonna muscle his way for the first down. Did he get it? I think he did, he did get it. And that's why you have someone powerful like Mr. Morgan. Haven't seen Brett on the field much today. A little disconcerting. 
And he can't find any yards there. They went in the hurry up and it looks like it's a toss to the outside. Morgan breaks one and gets in the end zone. That one looked like it was going nowhere, but he breaks a tackle and finds six. Just a beautiful effort there. The block didn't come through, but uh, who needs blockers when you're Brett Morgan? The second preseason contest of this season is over and the Chiefs lose 23 to 20. Didn't see much of Morgan out on the field today. We're gonna have to go over the numbers and, and see how productive he was. But now we're getting close to making cuts here. Who's gonna get the ax here for the Kansas City Chiefs? Kareem Hunt had 11 carries for 38 yards. Brett Morgan had eight for 11 yards. And Damian Williams had four for 12 yards. I mean, the most productive one was Kareem Hunt. Now Morgan did have that touchdown, but the touches that he got today weren't extremely productive. It's nothing like we saw in week one. So is he kind of like uh, all out and all go type of guy and then one week he fizzles out? We're gonna have to kind of see what the Chiefs decide to do here. In this third preseason contest, we were told Brett is getting the start because they wanna see what kind of production he can have right from the get go with some of their best players. And it looks like they're giving it to Morgan to start things off here and he rides that wave of blocks for six yards. We really haven't seen them utilize Morgan in the pass game like the Patriots did in that start he had with them. But he finds four more yards on the ground here. Two carries for 11 yards already in this contest. That's all he had in the second game. Going to the air here, Morgan's open. Big catch, breaks one and finds himself four yards. Now, honestly, I think Morgan has to carry for around 100 yards if he's getting the start in this contest today to prove that he belongs here. And look at this, breaking one and getting into the end zone. That's what you want to see from your resident big man. Look at him celebrating the end zone with some of his teammates, but this broken tackle, that sprung this touchdown. What a great effort by number 37. Seven to seven nearing the end of the first quarter in this third preseason game. Play action. Morgan doesn't go down. The pass is complete to Watkins. Nice play action by the Chiefs. Imagine you have young Patrick Mahomes and young Brett Morgan. If they were both starting on the same team, we could be looking at like a Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott type of setup. And there's a big broken tackle and another huge first down. We're going into the second quarter and these starters are still on the field. Obviously, they're trying to get them a little bit more play time in this game. I think Morgan's looking good enough to probably secure himself into week four of the preseason. Nice truck there, he finds a few yards. Mahomes hands it off to Morgan. Morgan cuts in between the offensive line and finds himself a first down into the red zone. Six carries, 55 yards. Man in motion. And it looks like Mahomes is giving it to Morgan again, who tries to cut up the center and only finds two. Morgan out of the backfield, he calls for the football. Ooh, that was almost intercepted. Third and seven in a tied preseason matchup. Morgan out of the backfield. Patrick Mahomes throws to the end zone and that is almost intercepted. Ball batted down, fourth and seven. Chicago turns the ball over, it's 10 to seven. Chiefs have great field position here. Morgan's trying to cut it out, runs two men over, still on his feet, but trips down to the ground at the 16. Watching someone, someone like Morgan take the ball on the ground is very exciting. A guy that can break tackles. I think this is going to fill seats in Kansas City. Morgan's got a little bit of speed there, finds 10. Nine carries, 70 yards, and a touchdown on the day. Mahomes takes the snap. Morgan calls for it. He gets it to Morgan, but he's only gonna find a yard. Second and goal, the Chiefs are in the red zone looking to score. Brett Morgan leading the blocking effort, and they get in. That's another touchdown for the Chiefs. Another turnover for the Bears. Chiefs in great position, Morgan in motion. Let's see what they do here. Morgan back in motion again. They want him back in the backfield. They're confusing the defense. Morgan's to stay back and block for Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes rolls out and gets sacked. He cannot roll out to that side. Second and goal from the 18. Let's see what the Chiefs want to do here. 136 left in the first half, and they're going to hand it to Morgan. Morgan finds the outside edge and pushes his way down to the 13. Third and goal. It looks like they're running some type of screen play. Oh, a blocker missed the block, but Morgan breaks two. He's looking to break three. Gets his way down to the two yard line. 19 seconds left in the first half. I'm guessing the Chiefs are gonna just try to run out this clock. Morgan trips up in the backfield, down at the 21. They might try to get one more playoff here. And no, they're not gonna get it. 
Man was in motion, and that's the end of the first half. I'm surprised to still see Morgan and Patrick Mahomes out here right now. We're in the start of the second half, and they still have their starters out. And Morgan gets swallowed up at the 26. Morgan in to block. And Mahomes finds the receiver short, but they're only going to get one yard. Third down, eight yards to go. Mahomes takes the snap. Morgan's out. He wants the ball. He gets it. He spins off one tackle and gets them the first down. An 11-yard gain. On the ground again with Morgan, who tries to break one but can. He finds one yard. Mahomes takes the snap. It looks like another screen play. Morgan's got a blocker in front of him. He doesn't make the block, but Morgan's still on his feet. Breaks one and finds himself the first down. Wow. What a great effort by Brett Morgan. I don't think you'll see a better effort, especially here in the preseason. He gets the ball on the screen. A blocker misses the block. He stays on his feet, breaks one, and still finds the first down. Looking to stick it on the ground here with Morgan. Morgan spins off one, breaks one, pushes his way into Bears territory. This has to be the last drive. We'll see the starters out. They already have this game in hand. A score here, too, is just going to bury the Bears here in this preseason contest. Morgan's going to cut up the center. Eh, he only finds, I think, what is two yards. It's just showing you right now, though, because Brett lost all that weight, he's got a bit more stamina, a bit more endurance, and he's still playing at the top of his game even here in the third quarter. Oh, it's a fumble. Mahomes was sacked. 121 to go in the third. The starters for Kansas City still out in this game. Ah, Morgan's going to be swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Man in motion for Kansas City. It's a toss to Morgan. He breaks one, but he's swallowed up by like four guys. Still makes it back to the line of scrimmage, but I don't know how he broke three of those five tackles. Looks like Kansas City's going to run it again. Morgan trying to stay behind a block and trips over a defender. He had space for the first down. And that's all the play time Morgan's going to get. Kansas City gets the W, and he looked pretty good. I think we're going to see him back in week four and potentially making this roster. I think he's made enough points in this preseason that he deserves a roster spot, whether they put him in at fullback or the second down or the second running back, and maybe he gets third down plays. He does have a lot of power. I think he does have a place on this offense, and he brings in an interesting utility through the air as well. Rushing wise, he had 18 carries for 83 yards and a touchdown. Kareem Hunt had 12 for 61 yards, averaging just a little bit more than Morgan. And then if we go down here, it looks like Chad Henney, the backup quarterback, lost the yard. But otherwise, if we're looking at this contest here, this is pretty close. I'm really liking what we're seeing out of the rookie, Brett Morgan. This is the last preseason game of the season. Brett Morgan is still on the roster for Kansas City. A good game here might mean a roster spot moving into the regular season, and that's all he truly wants. Morgan going to receive this one to the outside. Breaking one, breaking two but only getting back to the line of scrimmage. He's been improving throughout this preseason, working out, still focusing on his diet, wanting to get as physical as possible here in the NFL. And there's another two broken tackles. He finds four yards. The Boo Birds are out in Kansas City as the Chiefs trail seven to 10 to the Packers here in preseason. They must take preseason competition pretty serious in Missouri. Morgan taking down for a big loss there. Hasn't been too electric on the ground today. Morgan takes a snap on the counter. He cuts up the center of the field and takes a man with him for the first down. If they decide to keep Brett on this team, on this roster, I could really see him being utilized in third down situations or maybe in situations where you want to pass the ball so you want a running back back there to be an extra receiving option. And that's how they could definitely utilize him. They're going to get him cheap, probably a million dollars a season, million two a season. We'll just have to see what they decide to do, though. 10 to 10, the Chiefs have tied things up here in Kansas City. 23 seconds left in the first half. Man, that offensive line hasn't allowed Brett any time to get anything going. Seven carries for nine yards today. Five seconds left. This is probably going to be the last play of the first half. Man in motion. They get this ball off. Morgan Stiggins to the outside. Runs a man over, runs two men over. Carrying two men on his back. Finds seven yards. That's tough running. It's something you went to saw when Brett was 320 pounds, going to the outside and having the speed to get there. But today just hasn't gone his way. Nine carries, 18 yards, two yards per carry. Packer defense looking pretty good in this contest. Morgan to the outside. Morgan breaks one, pushes forward and finds six. And it out to Morgan again, up the middle. He's going to get into Packer territory. Second and nine, another outside pitch to Morgan. 
Morgan breaks two, tries to break it third and does. The fourth man takes him down for a one yard gain. Another hand up to Morgan, to the outside again. He can't get anything going. Morgan in motion. Well, let's see what they plan on doing here. Empty backfield. Morgan calls for the ball. He gets it after the first down, pulls it in. There's a late flag, but I think it might have been a face mask on the Packers. And this could bring the Chiefs into Packers territory. And it is a face mask. Okay, move them forward. Morgan out of the backfield. He calls for the ball, and that's almost picked off. That's not the time to call for the ball, and Henny shouldn't have threw that one. First down and 14. Ball at the four-yard line. Two seconds left in this quarter. And it looks like, oop, they're trying to get the Packers to jump off signs. Man in motion. Morgan takes it out, picks up a block. That's perfect, allowing enough time to get that big reception downfield. Morgan on the ground again, pushes forward, doesn't find anything. 4.40 to go in this contest. Kansas City has the lead. And it looks like Henny puts it up. It's complete and that's a first down and he's still on his feet, down to the 20. 20-17, 2.15 to go in this game. Kansas City has the lead. They give it to Morgan, Morgan breaks the tackle. Morgan's still on his feet, breaks two. He's only finding a yard though. He just needs some help from his blockers. And a little bit of play action here. Morgan's actually got it. They hand it off on the play action. Trying to get this first down to put the Packers out of business, but no. Drug down behind the line for a loss. 24 to 20, Packers have the lead. 19 seconds left in this game. Looks like Kansas City could be going two and two in the preseason. Morgan staying back to block. And it's up and it is almost intercepted. Bobbled, 14 seconds left. Morgan. Going up for a pass here. That ball is up and into massive traffic. 10 seconds left, you hear the boos. They're trying to get that to Morgan, it's jumped. Hear all the boos, my God, fourth down and 15. They're gonna get it to Morgan. He's gonna try to break one, but that's it. In the last preseason game of the season, Morgan had 43 yards off 20 carries. I mean, averaged about what everyone else did. Seemed the Packers to be pretty good against the run. He had 11 broken tackles though. I mean, those are like his semi-pro numbers. And then he did get involved in the passing game just a little bit. He had three receptions for 23 yards. Now Brett Morgan just has to wait to see if he gets a call from the Kansas City Chiefs if he's asked to return for the regular season and if he can get that two-year deal his agent wants. It's a two-year, $2.25 million deal, roughly $1.1 million in change per season. If he can get that, that could be the start of Brett Morgan's NFL career.